coming to the cardiopulmonary bypass circuit, you have the blood from the inferior vena cava and superior vena cava going into the right atrium. From the right atrium, it goes into the venous reservoir via drainage. And in the venous reservoir, the blood gets stored. From there, it goes into the arterial pump. This arterial pump acts as an artificial heart. And this blood gets oxygenated through a membrane oxygenator. Thereby, it becomes an oxygenated blood. And before going into the systemic circulation, there is a filter which prevents the particulate and gaseous emboli. And this blood is returned back into the iota for systemic circulation. This is the usual cardiopulmonary bypass circuit. This is the pulmonary part. This is the cardiac part. Then you have few other structures which help in cardiopulmonary bypass. First is the pump suction. Here you have the pump sucker where the blood around the heart and pericardial cavity are sucked by a sucker and this blood goes back into the reservoir. That is first one. Second, you have a vent. First is the root vent which is placed in the aortic root. This aortic root when the blood comes here and goes back into the venous reservoir. That is the second source of collection of blood in the venous reservoir. And third one is the LV vein. Here you go via right superior pulmonary vein through the mitral valve into the left ventricle and you take the blood from the left ventricle so the heart doesn't distant. This goes into the venous reservoir, again gets oxygenated and go into the arterial pump. And coming to the last part, you have the cardioplegia through the cardioplegia needle. It goes via heat exchanger and potassium is there in the cardioplegia and this cardioplegia is usually inserted into the aortic root which is called the antigrade plegia or it can be given via coronary sinus where it is called retrograde cardioplegia. Now coming to the various parts of cardiopulmonary bypass. The venous blood is intercepted as it returns to the right atrium. The venous blood from the upper part of the body comes via SVC and the lower part of the body comes from the inferior vena cava. This SVC blood and IVC blood returns to the right atrium. Now, we put a cannula in the right atrium and take that blood into the venous reservoir. That is venous cannula. Now, the blood is reserved into the venous reservoir. From there, it goes into the arterial pump, which functions like an artificial heart. This blood which is received from the reservoir is propelled through the heat exchanger oxygenator and an arterial line filter and then goes back into the heart. So, you receive the blood in the venous reservoir through drainage. From there, it goes into the arterial pump. Then, you have heat exchanger, oxygenator and filter before it is pumped back into the circulation. This is the usual circuit. Additional component include a pump sucker which sucks the blood around the pericardial cavity and after treatment can be pumped back into the circulation and a vent to decompress the heart. It can be an LV vent or a pulmonary artery vent and cardioplegia cannula to deliver the cardioplegia solution which is put on the iota.